coming. During Steve Jobs' reign at Apple, the creed was think different. Now with Tim Cook in control, different also applies to management style. Unlike Jobs' cash hoarding habits, Cook plans to return $130 billion to shareholders through dividends and stock buybacks, and acquisitions are on the rise. But at the same time, product innovations have slowed. The sheer size of Apple may have made thinking different a difficult task. I think that Apple has lost a lot of its uh, innovative character. I don't think how, I don't see how they can really capture this again. I think it's, um, uh, you need to have, um, given the size of Apple right now, you need to have a massive, a large market that they can basically innovate against. And uh, that's not, that would not be easy for Steve Jobs, and that's not easy for uh, 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 Tim Cook right now. Although Cook has given few clues about any new products, recent speculation is focused on an Internet-connected watch, personal health applications, even a digital wallet. Analysts say whatever Apple is preparing, they will be high-end with brand recognition front and center. Apple offers luxury goods and is a luxury brand. And number two, that Apple increasingly is um, interested in cultivating um, relationships with and opportunities with celebrities, perhaps to kind of support and enhance uh, their brand presence. Reports of Apple's pending purchase of headphone maker Beats Electronics is just the latest example of Cook's deviation from jobs, and it could be a sign that being different means looking outside the company. Warren Levinson, Associated Press.